Hey guys, how are we doing? Um, back for another little video here, just to give you some um, insights on hitting one of these bags we've got in front of us here. Okay, so um, I started to do a little video on kind of do's and don'ts and bad habits that develop on hitting a bag. Now, all too often um, people hit these things, and what they're going for is they're, they're going for the thrill of the, you know, the smashing things hard. Okay, it's one of the appeals of uh, martial arts, as I think it is to many other kind of sporting things. Really, it's hitting things hard. It's quite cathartic. It's uh, it's it's quite a release for you. Okay, so whilst hitting hard is 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 good, um, if you're doing this for any other reason other than just to hit things hard or get a physical workout, um, you're actually doing it with the mind to sort of doing kickboxing, boxing, um, and compete or go against other people. Um, you've got to use the, the equipment properly. Okay, so now a bag does not hit back. Um, so just put in the previous video, a uh, top and bottom ball has is a great piece of kit to get hold of. Um, we're going to get one soon here. Um, they do come back and they can hit you, okay? But a bag like this, which is a freestanding bag, um, it wobbles a bit, but it's, it's not going to hit you unless you're ridiculous and you just keep your head here and so it does. Uh, um, so you've got to be you've got to be mindful of that and, and treat it for what it is, but also be uh, remember what you're training for, okay? So we're training to actually learn to get better at fighting, um, and when you're fighting people, they hit you back. So things with this is. Um, Hands up, chin down. Okay, that's that's a real important one. Okay, so you can get caught up in your you do you hitting your sixteen punch kind of combination, and then you know, oh man, I'm, I'm I'm good at this. Yeah, at any point through that, you can see my head's fully exposed, chin up, um, no guard whatsoever, no real consideration for it. Um, I'm just going to get smashed. Okay, but as soon as someone actually comes to try and hit me, I'm going to get smashed. So no matter how many sets or hand combinations you're doing, yeah, your chin stays down. Okay, and you're you're working your head motion. Okay, and you're shifting it out, yeah, and you're up, and you're there like so. And you're always thinking about, yeah, man, hands are, okay, not getting too carried away with hitting so much that you know your guard goes to pot and your chin goes out of there, okay? One of the things I was doing there, uh, a bit, I could do more, um, it's hard with the camera angles it is, okay, is an appreciation of range. Okay, so if I set set up all my hands and I stand here where I can easily hit, okay, in reality if that's a person and I stand here, they're gonna hit me before I hit them. Okay, so you always want to practice um, with an appreciation of range. Okay, so what generally happens is when you throw punches, there's people move out of the way, okay? Or they're out of range, okay, and so you have to come into range. Okay, so you're going to use your footwork. Now, it's not the best camera angle for this, but you can imagine what's going on down below. Okay, so as I'm out of here, look, I, I, I can reach with a lean, okay, but I don't want to penetrate, I'll come in. But then I'm going to come back out again. Okay, so I want to hit my shot, okay, I want to move, and then I come back out of range. Okay, I also want to move around the bag, okay. Beauty of these things, if you've got them in the right place, um, bit of an odd corner we've got going there for the filming, but is you can move around. Okay, you can go 360 around these bad boys if you've got a big enough space, okay? Which is how you want to fight, yeah? You never want to be just kind of on someone's 12, just hitting, even with good guard, there's going to be punches coming back at you, okay? So you want to make sure you're out of range, in range, off on angles, okay? Back out of range, in range again, yeah? Moving, shifting, yeah? Hands up, chin down, okay? Everything you're doing. The beauty of this is, it's not only that it gets you a better fighter, um, it's a better workout, okay? So, when you do things right, um, and you invest in uh, the, the range and the guard and everything like that, you get a better workout, okay? So, you've got to get a good workout, do it properly, and then you become a good fighter as well, okay? And then it becomes a good piece of kit, okay? But I've seen too many people use this stuff, like, yeah, man, I'm really good. This is really, really, really good. Yeah, and it's like, right, now do some sparring. They're like, ah, I can't hit you. I can't hit you. You keep hitting me. Okay, so always got an eye on the end game. Okay, which is we want to be better fighters. We want to be good with our hands. We want to hit people and not be hit. Okay, so um, appreciation of hands up, chin down. Okay, not getting lost in the set and the hands start to drop. Appreciation of range. Okay, stepping into things, coming back out of them. Once you finish the set as well, practicing motions. Okay, what can you do to keep your head safe? Okay, and then angles. How can we position ourselves into different positions to hit? Okay, um, 
So we're finding new angles on people and, and hitting them and winning. Okay, anyway, there you go. A few thoughts on how to use a bag properly and not how to use it wrongly. Okay, thanks very much, guys. Enjoy. Thank you.